what it is guys it's about 10 a.m. my time thought I'd throw you out another update on Florence man is she left to move around it still poses a bad threat um, to where that dot is uh, I have a few clips that I do want to show you so for now I'm going to be quiet and I'll play the video for you all I can ask you to do is like Pastor Paul Begley would say is just to pray for everybody as they, as they go through this and whoever's in the path of this thing get out leave don't stay there and then go back when it's done because this thing in this model shows that it's gonna hit Toronto where I live just the like post tropical stuff the depressional stuff like Gordon was but we didn't get much rain anyway give it a second I mean look look at the size of the mofo hurricane man is insanity they say that there's nine other storms on the ocean and I'll show you what I mean in a minute and this reminds me so much of, I believe the movie is called The Day After Tomorrow, where there was like a whole bunch of them. And they, like, you know, joined in into one. It was, it was a movie, but this reminds me so much of that movie. Gotta stall. Okay, this area here, uh, they say it stalls, which it's actually doing. This is really, really bad. In other words, this is gonna affect a lot of people, and it's gonna be a lot of rain, a lot of wind, damaging. Look at this thing, man. Damn. It's huge. That's going to switch to the next day. Yeah, right where Somerville is. Somerville's going to get riched up in rain. Look at this. See where she tracks. Now, this is only today's model, like I said. So, and obviously, it dies off a little bit, but the rain is insane. The colors the reds, the yellows, the greens, the orange. See? Where I'm living right now, it shows that it's going to rain a whole bunch. See the red? If 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 it were to happen today, like say the hurricane already passed the Carolinas and it was coming up, we'd be getting smashed with rain right now. But this is like next week, so I don't know what my weather network is gonna do. Give me a second. Hazel, I'll come to mind with past intense hurricanes that the Carolinas have dealt with. So when the National Weather Service says that this storm, Florence, has the potential to be the storm of a lifetime for parts of the Carolina coast, it adds a ton of weight knowing what the Carolinas have gone through in, in, you know, in the past. Uh, taking a look at Florence, it is a pretty large storm, over a thousand kilometers wide. Uh, means that when it approaches the Carolina coast, it's actually going to be larger than it. And it also means that don't focus so much on the landfall because this storm will have far-reaching impacts. Uh, the first thing that everyone will contend with is uh, storm surge. Wave heights in the open Atlantic have been reported of upwards of 45 feet, and as they approach the coastline, uh, we could be dealing with storm surge upwards of 15 feet for the outer banks and coastal sections of the North Carolinas. After that, it's the tropical storm winds. They will arrive late Wednesday into early Thursday morning for most of the coastline, and then hurricane force winds arrive on Friday. Uh, comparing this storm to, you know, the previous uh, big storms along the Carolina coast, it is going to be very different. There's a lot of 
uh, model agreement that this storm will stall just off the coastline, and that doesn't mean a good thing. It's actually a very bad scenario for the Carolina coast where hurricane force winds will be relentless along the coast for uh, for a very long time, and then the rainfall comes after that. It will be soaking rain, flooding rain, catastrophic flooding is what the uh, uh, National Hurricane Center is highlighting with 15 to over 20 inches of rainfall widespread along the Carolina coast, and uh, localized amounts could reach over 40 inches throughout the weekend globe because the tropics are tremendously active right now. There are nine tropical entities we are tracking. Helene, Isaac, Hurricane Florence poses a risk to the southeast United States and then watching the Gulf of Mexico for Invest 95 potentially to further develop. In parts of the eastern Pacific Basin, Tropical Storm Olivia looks to make a swipe towards Hawaii. Tropical Depression Paul also meandering along those trade winds towards the west, but the largest storms on the planet are into the western Pacific Basin. Look at Super Typhoon Mangkut, uh, one of the, the strongest storm on the planet, if not all of 2018, and a couple other invests to watch, Invest 91W and Tropical Storm 27W number 9 to finish off the list. So yeah, there you go. Straight out of the pro's mouth versus my mouth. They have better data, better system than I do. I do try. The only reason I cover these is because I'm in love, in love with storms. But I also love people, and I like to see people listen to other people by telling them to get out. If you don't get out, you're gonna get, you're gonna be in trouble. It's like the, a lot of other hurricanes, man. If you don't listen to get out, you're in trouble. Unfortunately, there are people out there in the path of this thing that cannot get out because they don't have mobility or people to help them you know which is an unfortunate thing however i'll continue to pray for the for the people to hopefully be able to get help to get out of there or just leave please don't stay behind please don't try and be a hero let the professionals do what they gotta do if you think you can handle it by all means it's at your own risk even though you were told to leave anyway comment like and or subscribe i'll talk to you later